so when I've played a Fender Twin in real life, uh, it doesn't to me sound exactly like the experience of um, when you play one in a modeler. So typically what I've found in the modeling world is that you play a Twin and it's a bit kind of lifeless and maybe even like a bit spiky and a bit kind of, um, I don't know, just not the most pleasing thing in the world. So I'll just show you, for instance, what I mean if I pull up the default um, double norm, so the Fender Twin. You know, here's just default settings. You know, what we've got going on is a totally clean thing. And it's not that different from just like plugging straight into something clean, right? It's just... Um, but what I feel like when you play one in real life, you get a real kicking in the bass. It's quite touch responsive. Um, and necessarily for me, it takes pedals quite well. I know other people um, if you're a kind of edge of breakup person, then a twin is totally a different thing. I've not played a twin loads, but I did play one for a month as part of like a backline. So I put together this little preset to kind of get me closer to what I'm thinking of when I think of like playing a Fender Twin. Now, the Fender Twin has been used quite a lot. I was watching a video by Jack Fawcett and he, you know, said in that, you know, Kurt Cobain, Keith Richards, you've got players like George Benson, you've got, uh, you know, Basically, anyone in the world has used a Fender Twin at some point or another. It is essentially a clean amp, right? Um, unless you use the vibrato channel. I'm using the normal channel here. So first of all, up at the front of the chain, I've got the Rochester Comp. This is based on Billy Sheen's uh, compressor. Gain three, threshold minus 24, ratio at 10 to one. Um, so that's doing quite a lot of work. giving us quite a lot of that big bass feel, plus 6 dB into that. Um, then the US double norm settings that I've got, I've taken the drive up to 5.7 because I'm using a strap with low output pickups. The bass at five, mids at five, treble at five, and the channel volume at 8.4. I've taken the sag way down and the bias to 8.4 just because I wanted it to be as direct. feeling as possible, especially when we got a kind of darker sound. Then I've got an Elephant Man here, 500 milliseconds, 81% feedback, chorus depth at 1.3, mix at 20%, headroom all the way up at plus 12 so we don't get any clipping, and the noise at 8.2, um, so we've got some more coloured kind of repeats. And then here's, I guess, what I think of as being kind of one of the most important parts of your Fender Twin kind of tone. The reason here, I've got the 4038 ribbon microphone. This has the most bass response of any of the microphones in the Helix. Um, so I've used that. I've turned the low cut off and the high cut is kind of default 7.8. The reflections are up at 30%. And then on the other side, I've got the 2x12 double 6 C12N. I think you can also do the Jensen style speaker. 121 ribbon. Uh, one inch away, low cut off again, and reflections at 30%. Um, now, if you don't use those microphones, you get much more of that. Kind of thinner tone, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but... is not what reminds me personally of the feeling of playing a Fender Twin where you have quite a big cabinet and a big bass feel. That's why I use that 4038 ribbon 
Um, and then at the end, we've got a dynamic plate, 7.7 .7 seconds decay, damping up at 7.9, mix at 14%. Um, high cut at 10. The other thing that you could consider doing, and I'm just going to try this now quickly, is why not try a 1x15 base cap? And um, we'll see what this does. So that can give us even more of that big kind of bass feel. Um, if I clear that block and we'll just go for a single cab. You know, this is, if you're really trying to get this It's quite exaggerated, but But anyway, you saw the cap choices that I made, 4038 on one side, 121 on the other. And I find that's quite a good little compromise where you've got the best of kind of both things. You've got a bit of sparkle from the 121 and then a big bass response from the 4038. Um, the other things that I'd suggest um, experimenting with, you'll notice as you goose the drive, Okay, I'm really enjoying that. Right, so what I'm thinking is, if I get rid of that, I'm gonna put the drive up to 7.5 on my first snapshot, because I'm really enjoying the feel of that. Now, obviously a really good pairing would be something like a Tube Screamer, but equally, I really like the Diana Drive. I think the Zen Drive isn't a million miles away from a Tube Screamer circuit, and what I've done on this B section, uh, sorry, snapshot two, I've taken the drive all the way up to 10 on the amp, and then I've dropped the high cut on the actual cab for a bit of a, you know, high gain-ish tone, as much as we can get out of a Fender Twin. Um, and I've taken the channel volume down to 6.4. Um, you get this kind of thing. Um, but yeah, you could consider trying something like a Scream 808, where are you? This kind of thing is going to work really nicely, I'd imagine. And yes, that does work really well. I'm going to save that as an option as well. Tube Screamer, you're cutting off some of that lower bass stuff, which I really want for the clean stuff, for the feel of that, but for the driven stuff, um, I'm thinking maybe if we cut some of that bass out, then you get kind of just sweet. So like, as I say, we're kind of cranking the twin there, 
um, without the drive you still wouldn't have particularly You know, it wouldn't be exactly a tone which is going to break up loads. And if I wanted to bring in a bit more kind of brightness and stuff, I'd maybe consider this treble control. As I understand it, whilst a real Fender Twin has a bright switch, right, I don't think if you had the gain up to this kind of level that you'd get much response out of the bright switch anyway. I think as you increase the volume on a Fender Deluxe Reverb or a Fender Twin, I think the effect of that capacitor kind of gradually fades out, I think. Let me know in the comments if that's false or not, but that's just kind of how I would dial in some tones with this particular model. I'll drop these two presets into the folder if you want me to. Um, leave a comment and let me know. There's not much space for other stuff within this preset. I guess maybe we could put in a tremolo, which could be kind of nice. Let's see. Um, we'll take speed down. But that's what we're working with re really. I think these nice kind of fendery, big clean tones. And that's what I was missing really when I tried these models before is that you don't have that big trouser flapping bass thing um, which is really what I think about when I've played a twin in real life So there's three snapshots of... I think, fairly cool tone. But yeah, let me know if you want me to drop that into the folder and I'll be happy to do so. I'm going to now go and play with this kind of Fender Twin preset. A lot more bass than you'd get with the kind of stock default settings. And for me, I think a bit more of what I'd associate when I've actually played a Fender Twin in real life. It's kind of a big sound, not a mid and... Um, treble heavy tone when you're standing next to the amp right you get a lot of bass kicking out of that 2x12 cabinet so that's why I kind of wanted to set this up in this way catch you in another video soon and uh, cheers <laughs>